Hey Blue Demons, my name is Vanessa Catavillo. I graduated from the DePaul College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences in 2016. I am pleased to welcome you to Alumni Experts. Now, I don't know if I would call myself a true expert, but something I'm really missing these days are my mom and dad's home-cooked Filipino meals. So today, I will be showing you how to make arroscaldo. Arroscaldo is one of those expensive rice porridges, and it was one of my favorite meals growing up because it was quick, filling, and delicious. This particular recipe that we're working with today will yield about four servings. If you would like to learn how to make this dish, feel free to keep watching. For this recipe, you will need one pound of chicken breast. As you can see here, I tried to cut them up into cubes. One cup of white rice. It doesn't really matter what kind of rice you use. I'm using basmati rice. You'll need one cup of onion. I try to use sweet onion or a yellow onion. I try to stay away from the colored onion, um, the purplish one, just because it creates a color with your soup. You'll also need five garlic cloves, minced. Um, you're going to use half of it for the soup and half of it for garnish, so don't forget to save some for later. You'll also need two knobs. Um, there's no real measurement for knobs, but um, I try to just maintain some type of size to the ginger because I don't like eating it in the soup later on. If you don't have um, ginger, you can also use ground ginger. Um, it's about the same, but just make sure you're controlling how much you put in because you don't want to overwhelm the soup with ground ginger flavor. 16 ounces of water. This is only eight. And you'll need 16 ounces of chicken broth. For flavoring, um, I typically like to use Spanish saffron. You just put, you know, one or two, maybe three strands. It's pretty flavorful on its own and powerful in the color. If you don't have saffron, you can easily use, you know, a fourth of a teaspoon or less of ground turmeric. And you'll also need some fish sauce. It really doesn't matter what brand you use. This is just what we have in our fridge right now. You will also need to use some type of oil for this recipe. Today I'm using avocado oil. It doesn't really matter what you use. I've used canola oil, olive oil in the past and they've worked really well. Once you're ready to cook, you're gonna grab a pretty deep pot to cook in. This is what mine looks like. I've heated my pot to about medium and it's at a good temperature now. So I'll take two tablespoons of your desired oil. Again, I'm using avocado oil and put it into the pot. Once your oil is nice and hot, you wanna take your one cup of onion and pour it into the cup. Hot, sorry. Half of your minced garlic and all of your knobs of ginger. You just want to get the onion and garlic to a nice brownish color and the ginger is in there for aroma. So once they get into a nice brown color, we will add our chicken. Now you just want to make sure that the chicken is nice and cooked on all sides doesn't have to be fully cooked because it will cook in the actual porridge itself. I like to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to season the chicken. Once your chicken starts to look like this, you're going to add your 16 ounces of chicken broth and 16 ounces of water. Shortly after, you're gonna take your one cup of rice and pour it into the mixture and now you're going to take your two tablespoons of fish sauce and pour it into the soup give it a good stir and now you're going to let this sit until it comes to a nice boil so while we're waiting for our arrascaldo to cook we are going to focus on our garnishes 
You will need the other half of the minced garlic that you didn't use for the arroz caldo. One tablespoon of oil. Again, I'm using avocado oil and I'm gonna pour that into the pan. Once your oil is warm, you're going to put your minced garlic into the pan. As you're browning your garlic, you wanna make sure that your the temperature of your pan remains at medium and you wanna mix the garlic around so it doesn't get burnt. So just stir it around. You wanna make sure that it's brown on all sides. This is now time for you to turn off your heat and transfer it to a bowl with um, paper towel lined in. We wanna make sure that that garlic is crispy for the garnish and not soggy. So this is why you wanna have that paper towel to catch the oil. After about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll see that your arrascaldo has boiled. And as you can see, the rice has started to cook. It's nice and fluffy. The chicken is fully cooked. You just wanna mix to make sure that the rice doesn't stick together. Um, and I like to make sure that the flavors all kind of get together. So I keep this in here for about 10 to 15 minutes more, occasionally stirring in between just to make sure nothing burns at the bottom or that the rice doesn't stick. All right, we're nearing the end. So now what you're going to do is take some of your Spanish saffron or turmeric. Um, the saffron came in this little Ziploc bag and as you can see, there are a few little strands here. I accidentally grabbed even more than I needed um, just because they were sticking together. But as you can see already, it starts to um, create this yellow dye. So um, again, like I said earlier, you really only need about three strands, um, but I'll use all of this because I don't want to waste. And then you're gonna mix it in, it's gonna give the arrascaldo a nice um, yellow color. Now if you want more soup, you're more than welcome to add more water. Just be sure to be careful with how much water you're adding, and that you're not adding too much. But I really do like the consistency of this. There's um, some part liquid still, but it's mostly, you've seen now, it's turned into a porridge. And at this point in time, I like to add a little bit more salt and pepper. All right, so I have placed the cooked arroscaldo into a bowl and have garnished it with hard boiled egg and some of our minced garlic. And now I'm going to take a little spritz of lime just for flavoring. And for an added flavor, I like to add some soy sauce I have liquid aminos as well. Now, what you can also add, unfortunately, I didn't have any today, um, are some scallions. They're also great flavor to add to this dish as well. But this is it. This is the completed dish. It was pretty simple to make, about an hour, and um, most of the ingredients you probably already have with you. Thank you for watching this cooking video on how to make arascaldo. If you would like the full recipe or want to try out other Filipino recipes, you can visit Pansalang Pinoy. I'd also like to thank those who are out on the front lines helping those who have COVID or have family members that are affected. I'm so appreciative of the work that you do. I hope everyone is holding up okay during this time. My thoughts are with you and your loved ones. Stay safe, Paul.